If you want to be able to stretch your fretting hand better, then this just might be the video for you. I'm going to show you a drill that should help you a lot with this skill. So what we're going to be looking at is a four finger per four fret thing, but where we're stretching out our index and pinky fingers like so. It's hard to do up by the neck. So if we move down here by the body, we can practice the movements without having to strain our hands as much. The movements are much smaller here. You really want to focus on making sure the three fingers that you're not using to stretch stay still and they're not tensing up. They're just relaxed and they're sitting there. So here we're practicing the index finger and then we can start to practice now the pinky while leaving the other three fingers relaxed and in position as much as possible. But again, because we're close to the body, it's much easier than trying to do it up by the headstock. Once you're done with the six string, you can start to move down systematically between all of the rest of the strings, practicing the same movement because as we move down, the positioning of the hand changes slightly and the way your hands and your fingers will have to move will also change slightly. So you wanna practice on all of the strings. So once you got that good, you can start moving up towards the headstock. And as you can see, gradually what will happen is because we're practicing the movements up here where it is smaller, our hands will be much better equipped to stretch and do the same movements when we're closer to the headstock of the guitar where the frets are much wider. Now, of course, you wanna make sure to also take care of life's issues as they may happen as you're practicing. <laughs> this is pretty much the drill you can do going from the sixth string and down, or you could go back up if you wanted to. But once you're done practicing moving your finger a few times for each string for both the index and the pinky, you can keep moving up and moving up the neck, I should say down, towards the headstock where the frets are getting more and more wide. And you'll find if you practice doing this quite a bit, things will get easier and easier and you'll develop more stretch in your fretting hand, which is what we all want. Be sure if you start to get tired or start to feel overly tense to take a break, shake out your hand, massage your hand with your other hand if you have to. If it hurts, take a break. Look at your form and see if perhaps uh, you can loosen up somewhere or reposition your thumb or your forearm to try to make things go a little bit easier on your fretting hand. It's going to become increasingly difficult as you move towards the head. Try your best to stay relaxed and to keep your form. If you have small hands like me, it may be a bit of a challenge. It has more to do with coordination and flexibility, really, than the size of your hands. Remember to attempt to hit the sweet spot of the note. It may be very challenging when you're down all the way at the fattest frets, but try to. And once you've put it all together, you'll find that if you try to do these bigger stretches, it's actually more practical. This has been Dan from Guitar From The Heart. Consider giving the video a like if you liked it and it was helpful. Also subscribe and hit the notification bell if you want to be aware of when I drop new videos. Play the guitar from the heart and have fun with that.